Hey, welcome to another episode of Camp and Camera. Today we've got something really cool to show you. Literally, really cool. Hey, welcome back everyone. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, if you have been here before, you probably know that I'm always looking for ways to make camping easier and a lot more enjoyable. And I'm hoping this unit will be one of those items that does just that. This is the 37 quart refrigerator freezer from Bouge RV. Now, when I say refrigerator freezer, I don't mean it's either a refrigerator or a freezer. This thing is supposed to be able to do both. Let me pop the lid open and show you what's going on. This is a dual compartment unit that can be used as a fridge on one side and a freezer on the other, or a refrigerator on both sides, or a freezer on both sides. Well, that's what Bouge RV is claiming this unit will do. And if it will do just that, this could be a game changer for our camping trips. So although Bouge RV sent this complimentary unit over for testing, I'm not employed by them, and I'm going to give you an open and honest review. I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I don't. If it's a good unit, I'll give you that opinion, and if it's crap, well, you're going to know that too. All right, so with that out of the way, what do I think about this thing so far? Now, I have not tried it. I have not put anything in it and tried to cool it. At this point, I don't even know if it works. But what I can tell you is that the fit and finish of it Seems to be pretty darn good. Uh, the lid opens and closes very smoothly, and it has a latch that has a nice solid click, and it does not come back up. I see a refrigerator style seal around the lid that should help keep the cool air in. Uh, looks like it's got a cutting board in the top of it. That's kind of cool. It's actually kind of heavy too. Um, <clears throat> I would probably use that for something. Something I really see that I love is that it has baskets inside of it where you can pack this thing in the house and then take the baskets out and set them in the back of your tow vehicle or your camper instead of having to carry this whole heavy cooler out there with everything already packed in it. I didn't even know it had this when I knew that this thing was coming. This is wonderful. And they fit in there very, very well very snug um, it has if I can turn this around where you can see it on each side it has a little LED light so you can see inside this thing in the night time boy it's heavy heavy usually means good we'll see um, it has a sliding handle which looks like there's a couple levers on here you pull oh yeah look at this pulls out with one finger it locks in place it's got a rubberized handle on the end of it. I like that. So it looks like you have to pull the triggers to get to go back in. One finger and it locks. Has a touch screen. We'll go over the features of that in a minute. It's got a, a shallow tray built into the top of it and four drink holders. Um, I think those could probably be a little deeper. They're probably about a quarter, maybe five sixteenths of an inch deep. I don't know if that's deep enough to really do a whole lot. I think they should have made them at least a half, maybe three quarters of an inch deep. So that's one thing I'll ding them on. Has a handle on the other end. So if you do need to carry this thing, you can grab the slide handle on one end, this handle on the other. And although it's a plastic handle, it's held in place by four fasteners. Seems to be pretty, pretty sturdy. It's got a brushed nickel looking uh, drink opener on there. We're going to try that out with one of those dang colas after a while. Uh, it's got a 12 volt plug, which it came with a 12 volt AC adapter to plug it into the house. And it came with a 12 volt cigarette style adapter. You can plug it into your tow vehicle. Sometimes these little cigarette style adapters are kind of hinky. This one, this one feels okay. We'll try it after a while, see if it really is. Um, it has a solar power input on here. I've never seen that on a cooler before. Now, although they did not send over the battery, as I understand, you can buy a battery to run this thing off of. It's probably a lithium battery, but there's a compartment right here in the back 
where you buy a lithium battery and it plugs into this thing. And I think you can get like eight or 10 hours of runtime in economy mode. And here's a little label that falls out of the battery compartment when you open it that tells you what the battery is and the model number. So if you want to buy one, that's kind of a neat feature. You know, if you were on a grocery shopping trip and were running this thing off your vehicle and you went into the store for a couple hours shopping, you know, you've been able to run this thing off the battery. I don't know, that's pretty cool. You know, that could be a could be a good feature. So let's look on the bottom of this thing. You're probably not supposed to turn these up, but I'm going to. It looks like on the bottom, there's a drain plug. And sure enough, in the large compartment, I see the hole, there's a drain plug. You pull that out. It's just a press fit drain plug and it has two Looks like silicone O-rings on there to keep any water from leaking out while it's plugged in. So far, so good. The fit and finish seems to be pretty nice. Oh, here's one thing I like. These wheels, um, instead of having just one of those little press fit axle caps on there to hold the wheels on, these appear to have a stainless steel bolt on wheel. So that ought to keep those dudes from falling off. I like that. Now, I don't know how to operate this, but it does look like the lid can open from either side by switching the lid around. So right now it's opening that way. Um, but I think, I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can pop this lid off and stick it in this side and it'll open up this way instead. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how you do that. Um, oh, like that right there, it just lifts out of place. Oh, well, that's cool. So let's put it in this side. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's stop messing around and pack some stuff in this thing. And again, I really like that you can pull this basket out and pre-pack it without having to haul the whole cooler and all of its contents at once out to the vehicle. Now I've not packed anything in here yet. I'm just gonna lay these bottles in here on their side. I'm not even sure how many bottles I have. It looks like the very bottom, though, it will hold four bottles side by side exactly. So, I have four, eight, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen bottles of water right there. And it looks like I could probably put, I don't know, ten more in there. Let me go ahead and throw that down in the cooler. And I want to go ahead and shoot the bottles of water just so we'll know where we're starting at. It looks like the bottles of water right now are 58 degrees. So let's come back in a little while and see what they're down to. Um, but I want to also put something in the freezer. So here in the workshop, I've got this little refrigerator freezer like you put in a college dorm. And I keep freezer pops in this thing. But for some odd reason, it doesn't freeze them. It's frozen the rest of them, but this pop right here is just pure liquid. I don't understand what's going on there. I'm going to throw that here in the cooler, in the freezer side, and see if I can get that dude to actually freeze for it once. And let's go ahead and put one of these bottles of water over there with it, see if I can freeze that bottle of water. So there are some things I want to show you on the display. You'll see this diagram and this diagram. This one with the large shaded area means that this temperature, 48, is relating to the large side of the cooler. And this one, which happens to be 50, means that the small side of the cooler is currently 50 degrees. It looks like it's, uh, it's at 14.2 volts input power, and we're in Fahrenheit mode. Now, right now, you'll see it has max high, or H. Um, that means that we are putting in the maximum amount of power to this refrigerator to cool it down as quick as possible. It does have an economy mode that's for power saving. So after you get this thing down to temp, you can put it in economy mode. Now to adjust the temperature of the large side, you basically just push it up or down. I've got this one set to 35 degrees. And if you wanna go to the small side of the cooler and adjust the temperature on it, you push the minus, and you push down the um, the menu button here. There we go. 
and it switches it over to this side. And now, looks like minus four is as far as it'll go. You can independently adjust the temperature of that one. So let's take it back down to minus four. And the last thing I wanna show you on here is look right in the middle. That's a Bluetooth symbol. Just like the control panel, you can use the app to adjust the temperature of each side individually. Here we switch to the right or smaller side of the unit and you can see we're running it at minus four degrees Fahrenheit. There's even a menu where you can go from say Fahrenheit to Celsius or if you need to change the language uh, used by the app. Going back to the main screen though, you'll see three super important buttons at the bottom. These are low voltage cutoff settings. So if you're concerned about killing your car battery while running the refrigerator while the vehicle's not actually running itself, you can adjust at what voltage the refrigerator will stop using the battery. There's a couple other menus where you can check, say the connectivity uh, of the unit to the app. And going back to the main screen, you can see how easy it is to change the temperature by just using the slider going left to right to increase the temperature or vice versa. The refrigerator is already down to 34 degrees and the freezer is already down to 24. And that's only been after about 10 minutes. All right, so far so good. Sometime during the night, this thing cooled down to exactly where I wanted it to be. Uh, the freezer pop and the bottle of water on the freezer side are running right at zero degrees. I had it set to minus four, so it's running zero. Um, the bottles of water on the large side or the refrigerator side are running 34, 35 degrees, and I had it set to 35 degrees. So that was my big question. I know that uh, Bouge RV claims that you sure enough, you can use one side as a fridge and one side as a freezer all at the same time. And I wanted to see if really you could do that. And so far it looks like you can. So the next thing I want to do is put this in economy mode overnight and come back tomorrow and see if the items in the freezer are still frozen and if the items in the fridge are still cold. And I'm going to do that by pushing this little menu button twice. You'll see it change from max to economy mode. Yep, it's in economy mode. So I'll let this sit overnight and come back tomorrow and see what it looks like. All right, so we're back. It's actually been two more days since I've been out here at the workshop, had some things going on. Um, but I've had this running on eco mode for the last couple of days. And let's see if everything is still running where it needs to be. According to the thermometer, it's running 36 on the fridge and minus four on the freezer. So it's right there about where we set it. Um, let's open it up and see what it looks like. So the water is good and cold. And it's still liquid on the fridge side and looks like the uh the bottle of water in the freezer still rock hard and frozen and let's shoot it and see what it comes out to be so it looks like the water is running in the mid to high 30s as far as the water temperature in the fridge and the freezer is running the ice about four degrees on the water and two degrees on the icy pop. So yeah, it looks like that the air inside of the fridge and freezer is probably 36 and minus four. And the actual items are running in the mid to high thirties and, uh, or, you know, in single digits as far as, as far as the freezer goes. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, one side is cold, one is frozen. Now, the next thing we need to do is see how this thing acts in a vehicle, and we'll do that next. I'm gonna throw this thing in the back of the car and run it off the 12 volt auxiliary plug. So I'm gonna use the supplied 12 volt cord. And again, there's a notch on it, so I can only put it in one way. And that's not the way there. There we go. And it's a good snug fit. 
I don't have to worry about that coming loose. Now I want to see how it fits into the 12 volt socket. How good is this little plug here? I actually felt like a pretty good snug fit. Some of those things are loose, but that one felt pretty good. So I'm going to turn this thing around. Check to make sure that the temperatures are still good, and they are. So I'm going to load this thing with some drinks and ice cream. All right, so we're several hours into the trip, and sure enough, the uh, frozen items coming out of the freezer are still frozen, and the cool items are still cool. I checked it in the car a couple times just to make sure it's still plugged in uh, on the app. And yeah, the Bluetooth feature is pretty handy going down a road on a bumpy road. If you hit a big bump, you know, I'm afraid it could come unplugged, but so far it hasn't. This thing's working great. Joanne, you've been riding in the back with your mother. Tell me, can you hear the thing running or not? Barely. When you're going down the road, you can't hear it at all. But right now we're just sitting still. I can hear it just a little bit, but it's very, very quiet. Okay. What do you think about it so far? So far it's fabulous and it holds so much more than I thought it would. Would anybody like a frozen treat out of my Bouge RV refrigerator? Well, let's see what see. you got here. Oh man, that was one of them I was gonna eat, but I'm stuffed right now. May I stop at the road, someone get me one of them, Michael. <laughs> so if you wanna be popular with your family, get a Bouge RV refrigerator and you'll be the crap. Yeah. Okay, so one of Bouge RV's claims is that you can run both sides as a freezer or both sides as a refrigerator. So let's try the, try the freezer function. Let's go ahead and set the refrigerator that we've been using down to a minus four as well. Okay, so it's minus four as far as what we have it set on. Now, right now it's 48 degrees inside because we just turned it on, but both sides I've got set to minus four. And to verify that, I'm gonna push the minus sign and the menu button, and you can see that the small side is set to a minus four as well. I got a couple bottles in the freezer side or what I was using as the freezer side. I got four bottles in what was the refrigerator side, but now they're both in a freezer setting. Let's come back later and see how it does. And before we run, let's take one more look at the power on it. it. Looks like it's up to 50 watts of power consumption. So it's been running for 22 hours off this portable power unit. We started out right at about 100% and it's down to 36. But the first good while we had it on max power mode um, and we went to eco. So you can run this for a full day. The temperature says it's zero on both sides. And if you remember, we had it set to minus four. It fluctuates a little bit back and forth around that, but just a, just a few degrees. The big test, is the water frozen? That's off the side we were using as a freezer. And, yep, the side we were using as a fridge is frozen as well. So their claim of being able to cool on one side and freeze on the other and then freeze on both sides is true. It works. Works like a charm. Um, the only thing I haven't tried is cooling on both sides. But if it freezes on both sides, I know it's going to cool. So, hey, I think this is a win. This is something that we're going to have a, a lot of good use out of in our camping trips this summer. So lastly, what we don't like about it and what we do like about it. The bottom is slick and it slides back and forth as you're going around curves. It'd be nice if it had a little bit more of an anti-skid bottom. Um, the small compartment is just a touch smaller than I would have expected, but I understand because it's over top of the compressor and you have to put the compressor somewhere. But the large compartment is way bigger than I expected, so it well more than makes up for it. Um, the indentations on the lid, I think, are a little shallow. I mean, really the ones for the cups may not be too bad, but the one in the middle is a little shallow. And Joanne asked if the cutting board would fit in there, and it, it kind of does, but it really needs to be deeper to keep it from moving around. So that was a negative for me. Now, let's look at the positives. The build quality of this thing is really good. I'm impressed with how well it's, it's built. I don't know that the fasteners are stainless, but they have a stainless steel look to them. The fit and finish is just really great. Um, the lid opens and closes very, very well. The handle slides in and out way easier than I expected. And the big thing 
is it just freaking works. It will cool on both sides. It'll freeze on both sides. It'll freeze on one, cool on the other. And this is really going to make the camping experience a whole lot easier. And at nighttime, these LED lights put out more light than I expected. We're actually getting ready to use this thing on a little trip. You see Joanne's got her arms full of goodies here. And the trip we're going on, you'll probably see that in the next episode. So be sure to check in for that. But again, listen, I'm not employed or paid by Bouge RV. I'm just giving you an open and honest review. I really wanted this unit to work. If it didn't, you'd know, believe me. Um, but really and truly, I'm impressed with it. What are your thoughts about it? I know you haven't, you know, had as much experience with it as I have, but what do you think? So far, I think it's really nice. I'm very impressed that it's so quiet. Yeah, it is pretty quiet. Yeah, that's that's one of the big things going down the road. I was sitting in the back seat. You know, I needed it to be quiet. Yep, so that's a good thing. So, hey, uh, I'm going to put some uh, information in the description below as far as where you can get your own uh, Bouge RV 37-quart refrigerator. They mentioned that they may send over a discount code. If they do that, I'll put that in the description as well. But, hey, until next time, take care. We'll see you on the road. So what self-respecting refrigerator test will be complete without trying out a dang soda? Dang, that's cold. <laughs>